When it comes toward maintaining a sense of spirituality, perhaps there's nothing as important as consistency. To putting forth our best effort day by day, but maintaining a sense of equilibrium or balance during the process is so vital for our spiritual growth. It's very easy to get caught up in the highs and lows. For instance, people during the month of Ramadan, they feel very connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Naturally, we all do. But what's really important is to maintain a sense of consistency thereafter or right before and not fall off a cliff such that we feel so distant and then forgetful and negligent of the fact that God is always there to support us. وَمَعَكُمْ أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُمْ He states within the whole Qur'an, He is with you wherever you are. But when we have a sense of consistency, we drop off a little bit, we get right back up. We commit a sin or perform an act of transgression, we repent. Inna Allah yuhib at-tawabin. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who repent. Being consistent with regards to anything and everything that we do in life naturally can yield greater results. And our spirituality is exactly the same. Our relationship with God requires focus and requires diligence, but also with the recognition that maintaining that sense of deep connection and connectivity with Him subhanahu wa ta'ala is very difficult to maintain. That's the purpose of life, to consistently grow. And every time you slip, you get right back up. In a famous hadith from Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace and blessings be upon him, he states, Inna lil qulubi iqbalan wa idbara. That surely your heart is in a state of receptivity and also in a state of rejection. Sometimes your heart is more inclined toward doing good, toward reciting Quran, toward making dua, toward engaging in prayers, toward fasting by means of recommended fasting, toward performing any act of virtue or goodness for those around you. But sometimes you don't necessarily feel so motivated. The only thing that concerns you at any given moment is watching Netflix or following this particular series or just being so distant from community, from religion, whatever it might be. At the end of the day, when we remain in a state of consistency, these highs and lows that we encounter with regards to our caring of our souls or of our hearts diminish and they become far less. Meaning that we won't necessarily experience those highs and lows so drastically, but rather we always see ourselves as taking natural incremental steps toward finding closeness and proximity to our Creator. Let's go back to this hadith for a little bit of insight. Ali alayhi salam, he states, Inna lil qulub iqbalan wa idbara. Our hearts sometimes, they're more receptive. They're more inclined toward goodness. Fahmiluha ala nawafil. He continues and he states, and when you're in that state where you feel more motivated and where you feel more inspired, then do more. Recite more Quran. Recite more dua. Pray. Fast. Give out of your own charity, out of your own wealth. Don't allow for the opportunity to pass for this religion as a religion of states, as a religion of spiritual states, as mentioned within another hadith. But sometimes you don't necessarily, again, feel so motivated. You don't feel so inspired. You rather just sit on the couch and eat and watch TV. Over here, this is a dangerous place to be in. But nonetheless, because of a recognition that it is something that we may experience during the course of our lives, this religion is also very practical. Which is why Ali alayhi salam states that when your heart is in the state of idbar or rejecting, is not necessarily feeling so motivated, then at the very least perform your obligations and stay away from those prohibitions. You don't have to recite extra recommended prayers. You don't have to fast on those recommended days of fasting. Just do that which is an obligation and stay away from that which is forbidden but when you see yourself in that state over an elongated period, over, God forbid, weeks, months, or even years, then it's important to wake yourself up. How do we wake ourselves up? We remind ourselves of our own mortality. We go and we visit the grave. We decide that we need to truly get ourselves out of bed or off the couch and experience the pleasure that is supplicating to God in the darkness of the night while everyone is sleeping. Do something that motivates you, that shakes your core up 
such that you feel that sense of connectivity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The highs and the lows can potentially be normal, but when we see ourselves in that spiritual rut over an extended period of time, it's important to go back and check ourselves and ask God to help us and support us on this journey because like I mentioned, it's difficult and challenging, but with God's help, everything has an end and everything has light to it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawfiq. Walhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi